Welcome. Let's get started by going to File, then selecting Project Settings to change the aspect ratio to 916. Now go to Stock Media, drag down the egg white color, then click on the crop icon. Select the 916 aspect ratio and apply it as shown. Click, then navigate to Mask and apply the rectangular mask. Scroll down and set the scale to 59, leave the width at 50, and set the height to 93. Then scroll down to select Invert Mask. After that, take a snapshot and delete the white color from the timeline. Next, drag down the snapshot. After that, go back to File and change the project settings to a 16-9 aspect ratio. Click on it, then go up to unlock the scale. Set X to 88 and Y to 65, then lock the scale again. Finally, scroll down and apply a drop shadow. Now go to Mask and apply a linear mask. Scroll down to Rotate and set it to 28.43 to create a slanted split. Afterward, go back to Scale and lock it as shown. Next, move the playhead to the one second mark. Then go up and add a keyframe point to transform, type minus 345 in position X, and type minus 10 in rotate as shown. Move the play to the beginning, then go up to apply keyframe to transform. Type 274 in scale X, leave position X at minus 345, and rotate at minus 10. Now reduce to three seconds. Further right, click to copy, add two video tracks, and paste on the third track. Now click, then go to mask, scroll down to invert mask so that it takes the rectangular form, then preview, next, drag down a vertical picture and reduce to match durations. Move the playhead to 0, 5 seconds. Then go up to apply keyframe to transform and scale down to 66. Type minus 1275 in position X and leave rotate at 0. Next, using the second keyframe point as a guide, click the picture, then go up to apply keyframe to transform. Type minus 331 in position X and type 10 in rotate afterward preview. Click the second keyframe point above, then go to Effect, under Shake, drag down Mild Effect, then Reduce to Match as shown. Now click, then go up to Adjust Frequency to 3, type 20 in Position Z, and untick RGB as shown. Now select All, Copy, click the first track and paste beside as shown. Go to Media, then hold the Alt key while dragging down another picture to replace the one on the timeline. Now click both keyframe points, then only delete the minus from 345 in position X and 10 in rotate as shown. For the picture above, click the first and second keyframes and only delete the minus from 1275 and 331 respectively in position X. And only add minus to 10 for rotate in the second keyframe point. Now click both keyframe points, then only delete the minus from 345 in position X and 10 in rotate as shown. Further select all, Copy and paste beside as shown, then go to Media, drag as you press, and hold the Alt key to replace the pictures on the timeline. Next, select All and right-click to apply Compound Clip. I moved the compound clip to track 3 and moved forward by one frame. 
I also disabled auto ripple to prevent it from moving back automatically when dragging down a background. For the background, I went up to stock media, scrolled down to new year teams, then dragged down a choice, copied and pasted beside, and readjusted to match the duration above. Then I preview. I also went up to text title, searched for new year, then dragged down a new year text template and extended it to match as shown. Last but not least, the template link for this tutorial is in the description. Have a wonderful new year in advance.